welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cabernet. Welcome, and if you are an old subscriber, welcome back. If you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe. So, my daughter Jordan has eczema. We live in Japan, and this has been an ongoing issue since she was about since she was about 18 months old. So I'm going to be showing you in this video what I purchased from the from Muji, this Muji store, because this is where I had to purchase all of the items that I needed to make um, my own eczema cream. Because I went to the clinic today, and they were well, since I went to the clinic today, they were actually closed. And there was nothing that we could do. There was no other clinic that I could take her to. Today is Saturday. They said the next day that it would open would be on Monday. So because of that, I am going to make my own eczema cream. Um, it will probably last for about a week. I'm not exactly sure. I'll let you guys know like how I keep it refrigerated. Today is the starting point of me using this cream that I'll be making for her and you will see the before and after. So today is going to be the before and if you want to stay tuned for the after, please subscribe to this channel. Hi guys, Jen here. I got a cream. Okay guys, so let's show you her skin. This is Jordan. She is seven. She is seven years old now. Turn around, Jordan. Today, uh, she's wearing this cute little costume, but it made me really sad when I had to look at her skin. So, starting from right here, that her skin is really breaking out, really dry, really, really scaly, even all the way down to where her socks are going to be. Can you put this foot back, guys? Hold on. Right here, this is what her skin used to look like when she was 18 months, when she was a baby. And I don't want it to continue to look like this. The, the lotion that we're using, Aquaphor, it's not working. Nothing seems to, put your foot out this time. Nothing seems to, put your foot up here. Hold on. Yeah, nothing seems to be working. You can see how bad that looks. All right, let's see your arms. All right, so her arms are pretty dry too. So if you could do me a huge favor, guys, and like this video, that would help other people to see what items I'm gonna be using to try to heal Jordan's eczema. Let me see your legs again. And then I think her face has a little bit of eczema here, like a little bit of lightness, discoloration. And then put your eyelashes down, look down. And sometimes she breaks out on her eyelids too, right? Yeah, she sometimes. breaks out sometimes, but right now you're okay, right? Yeah, and I got here. Oh, you break out on your hands too? Yeah. I didn't know you break out on your hands. Yeah, this side a little bit, but on this side I don't. Okay, and this one is really, you can see it's really, really dry. Okay, just these from the Daiso store uh, so that I, once I make the mixture, I can put it in these containers here. I had to get some coconut oil. And then if you're in Japan and you know Muji is a really good store, so I wanted to show you the items that I purchased here. So I got this Muji bag. Um, it was $5.90 for the clear case. It was so nice. Um, so we have inside the clear bag some essential oil some lavender oil this is supposed to be really good against it's supposed to be anti-inflammatory uh it's fight it fights eczema and other skin scars so this is really good then we have some sweet almond oil right here and this stuff is really expensive in japan this is just a lippy right here this is nothing for skin and yep so we have some rose hip oil Sweet almond oil, coconut. And I'll try to put on the screen uh, what lavender is good for because I don't want to leave anything out. But this is supposed to be really helpful for especially itchy skin or eczema as well. And it smells really good and it's really calming and soothing. So guys, if you could give this video a big thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. It would help the YouTube algorithm. It would help other people to see this video if their kid is struggling with eczema. I really, 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 truly would appreciate that if you could do that for me. And if you have any suggestions, please leave those suggestions down below. Uh, like I said, we've been trying everything to heal Jordan's eczema for years. Companies have reached out to me offering me cream. It would work for like 
like two days and then the flare up would come back up again um even after like trying it for a month so aquaphor um Cetaphil, we've used many, many creams, many, many lotions, and I try so hard to stay away from steroids. So if you can help, please leave a comment and also help by liking this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out to